Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. Hello, I'm Mortimer Winthrop, and I have heart problems. This is 60 Minutes. May 19th, 2008. The scene on that late spring day was gruesome. A salad full of adorable baby carrots met an eerie demise upon the hallowed ground of UVA. Rats were splashed all about in copious amounts. One observer described the scene as truly horrible, but sort of delicious. Truly horrible, but sort of delicious. <laughs> Three weeks later, five newly graduated UV students were implicated in this crime. Who were these men? Why did they commit such a murder of the mandible munchies? 60 Minutes investigates, investigates. <laughs> Pete Seibert was a musically gifted lad who helped to pursue writing scores for major motion pictures. While it seemed Pete was studying the great works of John Williams and Hans Zimmer, they, he was studying to be a big meanie. How did you and Pete get along? Fine. We were the best of buds. He was the peanut to my butter, the sun to my moon, the natty light to my bread. Was he really as talented as people say, and laid back with wing swept hair? Yeah. He was all those things. He was my hero. Ooh. <laughs> you know you're not actually crying. <laughs> My little pumpkin! <laughs> After cleaning up the mess that is Matt Woody, we turned our investigations downwards, um, so to speak, to everyone's favorite mini hullabaloo, Blake Siegel. Or Frank Siegel. Frank uh, Siegel. It turns out that Blake Siegel, or Gersten du Flagensen Wallo, descendant of the great Robert Wallo, was actually a fugitive on the run. From the law. The soon to be Yay employed his skills in acting to go into hiding. He's wanted for a crime involving four gallons of Garnier fructis and a cucumber. The cucumber has since pressed charges. I need a shake, Jeremiah. <laughs> and what does the name Gerson de Butterson Wardlow mean to you? It's a tray of fat, juicy burger from the flight of a sweet Vermont buck with cheddar cheese crumble on top. Oh, and it gets me excited in the pants. Would you go into the Blake Seagull persona? No. Were you surprised? No. Did you feel betrayed? No. Want to play ping I totally died. Oh, jeez, I pretty much died. I'm the king. <laughs> I died. I'm only a psychopathic if you ever go to date one of my daughters. <laughs>
really motivated and driven. Uh, Yeah, uh, um, he has great jeans, um, they always fit really tight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he has nice calves. Uh, So how did you react when you learned that Miles was in Baltimore crowd? I was hurt, upset, just deeply, and I just couldn't live. Are you aware that Miles had such violent tendencies? <laughs> no, I bet you he was just forced into it. Like, you know, he would never do anything like that. Though. So you're saying that Miles had a history of butchery? Whoa! I didn't say anything like that. So I think Bucci would say that Miles smiled and giggled when the poor ranch dressing all over the defense's carrots. Hold on! That's all right, bitch, I need to be busy. Here's a wallet. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, what? <laughs> thanks, guys. Thank you. Uh, thanks, guys. Gee, thanks, guys. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thanks. Thank you for an awesome four years.